Hello, people of YouTube! My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future anime and cartoon-related videos. So today, we are talking about Ray Zero Season 2, Episode 4, and I'm going to be honest, I know that th this is one of those episodes I feel like you either like it or you hate it, and I just was not a fan, did not like this episode at all. I found it very boring. I was watching it, uh, laying on my bed with my laptop, and I was literally falling asleep because I don't freaking care. Like, l l literally, you know, continue the storyline. He goes into this fog thing. So for starters, visuals that pissed me off, uh, I hate when they do the whole, oh, I'm having a dream thing, and then they do, like, the foggy outline of everything uh, in order to make it seem like a dream or whatever, or, you know, he's on this trial. Um, he hears Amelia's voice a couple of times throughout the episode, you know, that makes him realize that this is a dream, same with Rem as well, and... It is just so freaking boring. Holy shit. All it did was talk the entire episode. Nothing happened. There was no de really character development at all. You know, there's no story movement at all. This is just one of those filler bullshit episodes that I hate when they do them <laughs> so very much. I mean, I don't, I don't even care anymore. I, I, I freaking hated this episode so very much. It was just stupid. No reason for it to be in there. This could have been like a maybe the first 10 minutes of the episode, but not the entire length of the whole freaking thing. I was like, oh, he's done talking to his dad. That'll be it. Finally, you know, he reconciled with his dad, blah, blah, blah. Let's get back to the actual storyline. Let's see what's going on with Amelia. And she's trapped in this dream. Uh, nope, let's talk to his mom for another 10 minutes. Oh, there goes the entire friggin' episode. You know, it put me right to sleep. No problem. I literally probably... I, I had to friggin' like rewind part of it because I was legitimately falling asleep during this big, long crybaby conversation. And yes, they've done this before. And that, that's maybe that's my issue with it. I was fine with it the first time, but you don't do the same thing over and over and over again uh, and expect people not to get bored. This isn't Dragon Ball Z after all. You know, at least they kind of doctor it up. You know, you got the fighting. A lot of people are into fighting. So, you know, you get the same formula. That's okay. But when you just have a, a boring, drawn-out conversation for the entire length of the episode, talking about, you know, why Subaru was, you know, cooped up in his room the entire time. Basically, he was good at everything when he was a child, and then everybody else started to outgrow him. Uh, that, or things were too easy for him, so he found everything boring. And uh, he decided, you know, to just stop caring. He didn't really go to school for, like, three months. Um, and that's basically how he fell into it. His parents are, you know, very caring and decent human beings. They're not going to scold him. They're not going to get mad at him. They realize he's going through a hard psychological time, which is kind of nice because I would love to <laughs> love to have had parents like him where it's like, oh, I don't feel like going to school instead of screaming at me to go to school. It's just like, oh, nope, okay, you know, you're not, you're having an off day. Take the day off, you know, get yourself, uh, g g give yourself a mental health day, basically. Uh, which I am a firm believer in taking a mental health day when you need one, because sometimes you do, you know, school, work, life, sometimes it just, it gets in the way of things, and, you know, you're, you're pressing a bunch of stuff, and, and you do, you, sometimes you just need a day to get away from everything, think about nothing, clear your mind, you know, whatever you do to relax, watch TV, watch a couple of movies, uh, go to the lake, and, and just get your mind off of everything, <laughs> drown your sorrows in whatever your personal poison is, and we'll just kind of leave it at that for right now. But I definitely feel like this could have been a like a, a segment, a part of an episode. It didn't need to be an entire episode. Yeah, it was cool to see Subaru's mom and dad and what his past life was like, but the reality is he's just your standard, average, boring high schooler uh, with mental issues. That, that That's basically the gist of this episode. Um... And, you know, his his dad was like, yup, you're cool like me, whatever. Uh, I see that you like a girl. Um, and basically every time he was um, trying to do this trial, because that's basically what it was, it was a trial and you have to reconcile with your past. Uh, basically the gist of it was that um, he had to give in to his emotions and feelings and open up uh, in order to be able to pass the trial. And then he ends up meeting the Witch of Greed at the end of the episode, which was the most interesting part of the episode. So you get to see uh, the Witch of Greed 
little hottie there in her school uniform that I'm sure uh, was kind of a uh, homage to the fans, I guess is the best way to describe that. And uh, she was at the end of the episode, and that was definitely the most interesting part of the episode, <laughs> in my opinion. I was like, oh, cool. We're actually getting back to the story then. Oh, no. End episode. No preview. <laughs> That's all she wrote. But, I mean, just come on. You, we had this whole big, you know, he opened up to his feelings to Amelia, had his big crybaby moment. Why did we need another one? Please don't tell me we're going to get one of these waste, wasted episodes in every season, because that's what I feel like. We just wasted an entire episode on this nonsense, and there was no reason for it. I don't know if this is actually in the manga or not, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not going to do... <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not even going to bother trying to find it because I don't want to reread re this entire sequence of events that just happened and that I just wasted 29 minutes of my life watching. It was just... It, it was. This is probably going to be the... I, I, I'm going to call it now. Worst episode of the season. There is no possible way they can, you know, get, do a crybaby crybaby Subaru moment again to make the, this, you know, season anywhere. I mean, why are they dragging this out? Honestly, this could, it, it, it like, max half the episode, honestly. You know, oh, uh, you know, I have these, all these pent up feelings, you know, um, I, everything's too easy, but I think I, I can't just stop trying because he learned that from Rem, you know, it's, you know, it's easy to give up, uh, but it's, you know, it, it, it's not easy to keep trying and just keep pushing yourself harder and harder and harder. Uh, every single time you get knocked down. Um, similar kind of like that Rocky speech, you know, when someone, the, the world's not a nice place when you get knocked down, you got to keep on up. It's not about how hard you can get hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Uh, this is basically the gist of this entire episode. Uh, we learned that actually Super might have a little bit of strength to him uh, because his dad seems like a muscular, interesting person. Uh, definitely, you know, that's, that's what I got for the impressions for the first part of the episode. Anyway, and um, uh, he, he was able to do like some wrestling moves, so uh, that, that gives hopes that Subaru will actually gain some sort of ability and it won't be a crybaby, cry useless character the entire series. Uh, because I get it, he's the main character, but but th this was just annoying. I don't know if it how they designed it or whatever, but I mean, it's like anything you know, you, you have zero action, nothing really going on for a half hour, it's gonna be boring. There's really nothing. Uh, you, you can do to fix that besides cut it down, which is what they should have done. They could, could have very, very easily cut, made this into about 10 minutes. You know, hey, let's, uh, you know, there's, there's a, this whole P sequence or some nonsense uh, that was completely irrelevant to anything where it was like, oh, here's this giant thing of peas. Uh, your father and I don't like peas. We all share similar interests. Um, but, you know, we're going to make you eat them uh, because it's good to do things that you don't want to do or some nonsense. I think that was the lesson they were trying to get out. That was like a that was like five minutes, five minutes. <laughs> they, they could have they could have just completely the, the unnecessary scene D did not need to be in the, this episode at all whatsoever. And I, I was just angry. I don't know how um, uh, other reviewers, I'm probably going to take a look at other reviewers after I make this to see what their thoughts are on this episode. But it's, I mean, it's supposed to be one of those heart felming warm, touchy moments. And it is to a certain extent. Um, it, it, it is, like, as I said, in the beginning part of it, you know, he gets to see his parents again. He's remembering who they are. And you do, you get that warm, heartfelt moment. But at the same time, they just dragged it on for the entire length of the episode. So, you know, you're basically taking something that would have been a warm and heartfelt moment and just kind of mushing it in, into a bunch of boring crap. And that's what it comes down to. It was, it was not a good episode. They did not do it correctly. The animation was fine. As I, said, as I said, minus the stupid foggy dream stuff, which is pretty much that, that that's a major complaint across pretty much everything. Uh, every time somebody has a dream, they got to have like that foggy silhouette. So, you know, it's a dream, <laughs> even though that you can just say, hey, it's a dream. Show the person falling asleep or show Subaru, you know, entering the place and re-entering it. Would have been fine, you know, like a two seconds of him re-entering the uh, kind of, what the, what the heck, the ruin, the best way to describe that, at the beginning of the episode, and then, oh, okay, it's like a dream or the trial uh, is what he's going through right now. And I get it, you know, we reconcile with his past, whatever, but I just generally did not like the episode. It, it, it was boring, as I said, I was falling asleep through it, and I feel like there's many other ways they could have gone about it. Uh, to make it better. Uh, for instance, uh, the, the best way, in my opinion, 
they could have done it is kind of split the episode in half. So do half of it being Subaru and his back backstory uh, that now I <laughs> am very bored with and hope I don't have to deal with more of it. And then half of it be Amelia's backstory, maybe continue Amelia's backstory. I, I mean, I, maybe 15 minutes I could do, but not 29 minutes. You know, I mean, there's a certain point where you lose interest. And I think they said basically you can concentrate on one particular thing for about 20 minutes. And then if you have basically have no interest in that particular topic or whatever you're watching, you're just going to zone off and be bored. And that's pretty much what happened around the 20 minute mark. That was the, uh, oh, oh, falling asleep. Oh, oh, what? What's going on? Oh, okay. I don't care about any of this. Fast forward through this entire useless filler episode. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Um, and let me know how you feel. Obviously, I just told you how I feel about this episode. What's going to happen next episode? Let's get into that a little bit. I'll, 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 I'll calm down a little bit, you know, get the, get the anger out. Uh, this is a nice, good venting thing for me about this particular episode. Um, but probably going to see a little bit of conversation between the Witch of Greed and... Uh, Subaru, Subaru might ask the Witch of Greed to save Amelia's life if Amelia is actually in danger in this particular instance. I can see that happening. Yeah, but more than likely, uh, it's probably going to be us seeing a lot of Amelia's past, uh, which hopefully it's not as boring as Subaru's. And she lives in a magical freaking world, so it better not be. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I come to anime to escape the boringness, not dive into it, if that makes sense. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always... Have a good one.